Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Thank you for tuning into your what's coming up next in your love life tarot. We're going to be having a look and um, look to see what's coming up in the next chapter of your love life. And we'll see if the Prisma Tarot deck can reveal some upcoming changes, new romances, new connections um, or developments in previous connections. Um, that are coming up for you around this time frame and in the near future. So if you are a Taurus Capital Virgo, this reading can be for you. And also to the cross watchers dealing with one of these signs, um, this reading can be helpful as well. So uh, we'll give the cards a good shuffle. Um, and then we'll see what's coming up next in your love life. Okay, the Hermit's come up, so Virgo's here. Strong message for Virgos, maybe, or a destined Virgo coming in for some of you. Um, communication, okay, they're ruled by Mercury, so lots of communication coming in for a lot of you. Um, we also have the King of Pentacles, which is Taurus, um, and the Chariot, which is Cancer. So one of these signs are destined to be coming up around you, Earth signs. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana card of lots of changes. Um, I sense that you're making a lot of progression, okay? The chariot is all about movement. Um, again, the bird is a messenger, so there's a lot of communication coming in around you. Um, messages you'll find in draft, messages from exes, okay? The, the past could be coming in, past attachments potentially. Um, you're on the move in your love life. Some of you are relocating. Either the person you love or the person you're about to meet is going to relocate for you or you're going to be relocating for them because lots of changes. Um, something is interconnected here. So I feel the next sequence of events in your love life are crucial to your love journey. So lots of wonderful changes are taking place here. Um, and you can see with the Wheel of Fortune, there's like this python locked in with the uh, these, these serpents locked in with the um, with the peacock. So it's almost like they've got their claws in. So I sense, um, what I get from this is I sense a very strong connection that's being formed, okay? It's either currently being formed or will be formed um, very, very soon. Now, I do want to say in this last column, the question mark, the reverie card, um, there's a lot of thoughts and fantasies. But I want to say for some of you, a thought or fantasy you have about someone or a life you want to live in your love life, like if you're coupled up, you want to be single, you know, you want to go solo, the hermit's here. So it's almost like you're going to bring that into fruition. If you've been fantasizing about connecting with that person, going on a date with this person, wondering what they're like in a relationship, the universe may give you that opportunity. It may put you into the alignment for you to experience that in the physical realm. Um, why? Because the King of Pentacles is here. And this is ruled by Venus. Now, Venus is a very strong love energy. So I feel like you've got a big chapter coming up in love. It's all about romance. It's about sensuality. It's about discovering your intimacy, um, finding sparks once again. It's about being stubborn for love, fighting for love. But a lot of changes in the physical realm, as in changes to your relationship status, moving in with someone. Um, going exclusive, traveling with a person, um, having them come out of your dreams or your visions and into your reality. So, you know, this is all about lots to do with the physical. Lots to do with the um, physical uh, things, okay? Um, real things that you can experience, taste, touch, smell. Lots to do with sensuality here. So I think a lot of you are exploring that aspect um, next in your love life chapter. And to come into that nine of pentacles is really powerful earth signs because you've come up as the king and the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is completing something. And it's almost like you're going to be ticking something off, like I'm going to have a baby or I'm going to get married. Or I'm going to move in with someone. It's a big milestone. But it's happiness. It's feeling very happy where you are. So I feel like this next chapter is going to bring you a lot of happiness and it may not bring you every single thing life has to offer when it comes to love, but it's going to bring you enough happiness for you to be very content and you're going to feel much more settled. So if you've noticed things have been in an uproar, if you've noticed you've been the hangman here, this is like drowning in your sorrows or like drowning in something here. 
and and I think of suffering when I see this. Okay, he's like double suffering. He's drowning, and then he's got these piranhas. So, for some of you that have been sort of self-inflicting something here, if you've been bearing abuse, if you've been on the receiving end of that, um, of a connection that hasn't been going well, if it's been if it's been a real struggle, it could indicate that you're drowning those struggles and. This is good because it could be a metaphor that you're leaving those things behind, um, that you're distancing yourself from them. Why? Because let's look at the perspective of the hermit here. You know, it's a it's a wide angle um, and you can see the water, you can see the bridge, the moon. This could be cancer. Cancer came up in the form of the chariot as well. Um, but what I get from this earth signs is that with the hermit energy, your perspective is changing. There's a shift in how you're going to see things. Um, now, for some of you, if you are drowning your sorrows and leaving something behind, you're coming into a single life here with the hermit, but you're going to feel settled, okay? It's not so much a card of loneliness. Um, you may have questionable romances coming up around you where you don't exactly know the intentions of the people around you. Um, you're going to be in control of a lot of things because you're coming up as the king. So it makes me believe that it's either you're going to have a lot of say um, or it's going to be like up to you sort of thing. People are going to leave the ball in your court. It's going to be your decision. You're going to sort of be in the driver's seat of that relationship or the next sort of relationship you're approaching. Again, and I say the chariot, we see the car, so there's mobility. Um, some of you are entering into a relationship, okay? Your next phase in your relationship is um, either going the distance or physically traveling a lot. So it makes me think you're going to meet someone who does live further away, possibly um, like a long distance connection, maybe someone from a different city or state, um, maybe even country for some of you. I'm not getting the sense of a strong online connection. I feel like this person is accessible. They're just a bit further away from you. So I think the next chapter is really going to involve a lot of test in commitment um, with a lot of driving. It's almost like you're going to be driving a lot to see this person or they're going to be driving a lot. You're going to be on the road a lot. The next chapter could really be like, um, because I see a home here in the distance, I'm wondering if the next chapter involves you searching for a home uh, with your loved one or like buying a home or leasing a home. And there's that's going to take a bit of a process, but you must trust that the ultimate goal that you're aiming to get to um, is going to be very satisfying once you get there and you're going to feel much more settled. So know that there's a reward at the end of it, um, Earth Signs. So try to remind yourself of that um, coming into this connection. Um, we have the boat here. I don't know if this is you setting sail. It could be. Um, I do want to say for some of you, the next chapter in love is somehow impacted by your by where you're located. Some of you, it's almost like you've got a bit of a spanner that throw, that that's um, going to be thrown into the relationship here, a spanner thrown into the works. And what I get that what this could mean is, is that suddenly it's like, okay, well, I have to move away for work for a year. How are we going to do this? Or your special person has to look after a loved one and they've got to move away for a bit. So I sense that there may be a testing phase. Um, because the Eight of Chalices is clouded judgment. It's not knowing where you are. Eight of Cups, it's like you're searching for someone, but you can't see it. So I want to say the next chapter, there's going to be a lot of unexpected things um, that are going to pop up that could potentially transform your life and your love life. But you're not really going to see them come. Okay, it's going to be like completely, you're going to be taken by surprise. You're going to try to roll with the punches earth sign and I, earth signs and I think you're very good at doing this because you're so humble and you're so grounded. You take a very practical approach to things and as a result, I think you're going to like pow pow pow, you're going to manage it quite well is is what I get. And I want to what I want to say to you is enjoy the surprise. Sometimes when we know too much of what's ahead and what's coming, it takes away from the magic of that experience or the magic of the developing that connection or seeing where things could go. Um and I do feel like there is magic here. Um, I do want to say also, notice how the peacock has his tail sprawled. I get the sense that um, this is all about, uh, you're going to be showing off a lot in your next chapter in your love life. Okay, so it's either, okay, 
for those that are sitting out there who are single or who are hating on other couples and are like, um, you know, oh, they're together, here they go, more posts on social media, there they are together again, flaunting their love. Be careful what you say because you just might find yourself in that position very soon and you're going to be the one that's spamming your friend's social media pages with all your lovey-dovey stories and pictures and all of that stuff. There's a big display of love is what I'm seeing. So it's either um, there's you've got a romance or a love where someone is like doting on you and they're giving you gifts and they're showing you off and they want to impress you. There's, there's a lot of that happening. Um, but I also feel at the same time... Uh, you're going to be showing yourself off or you're going to be so proud with the person that you meet or so proud where you are at your relationship soon that you're just going to want to show it off to your friends, to your family. And it's not in a necessarily bad way. It's more that you're proud. You know, it's, it's, you sort of want to boast your love and, and your connection. Um, so I get the sense that that's coming up around some of you uh, in your love life um, in the next chapter. Um, but I do want to say there's a lot more open communication, which is great. Um, and there's a lot more romance that's coming in this next chapter, like really special dates, gifts being spoiled, um, or spoiling someone, uh, you know, finding intimacy, getting affection back. Okay. Or exploring it more. You're doing a lot of this, I feel, and I think you're absolutely going to enjoy it, Earth Signs. I think you've got a lot to look forward to, but like I said, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil any of it. I think it's wonderfully special and you're so deserving of it. Um, so be happy with what's coming. Embrace it and accept it and welcome it in um, from the universe, Earth Signs. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much um, for tuning in. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoy this content and also to hit the subscribe button to join the YouTube fam. Always looking for more people. So thank you so much. Um, all the best earth signs and until next time. Uh, bye for now.